Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be playing an audio clip and we want you to guess what it is. Were you able to guess it? You might have heard the same sound from your engine. Well, this is due to engine knocking, which is our topic for today. Knocking is a pinging or thudding sound that arises due to the uneven combustion of fuel inside the engine cylinder. Knocking was first observed by Harry Ricardo during his research on the failure of aircraft engines in the early 20th century. Before going deep into how knocking occurs, one should be clear about the normal combustion process. In a spark ignition engine, the air fuel mixture is sucked into the engine cylinder during suction stroke. It is then compressed during the compression stroke. Ideally, at the end of compression, a spark from the spark plug ignites the air fuel mixture and the flame progresses smoothly across the combustion chamber, which results in proper combustion. This smooth combustion results in a steady increase of pressure inside the engine cylinder and the pressure decreases as the piston lowers. The linear motion of the piston is converted to rotary motion with the help of crankshaft. This is how normal combustion engine works. But in some cases, the air fuel mixture outside the area of flame progression may get exposed to high temperature and pressure. This makes the air fuel mixture to reach its self-ignition temperature much before it is intended to ignite. Hence, the air fuel mixture burns even before the spark. Meanwhile, the fuel in the area of combustion will get ignited by the spark at the same time. Thus, the flames generated at different points collide with each other, creating local shock waves, which results in the knocking sound. This uneven combustion results in rapid pressure change inside the engine cylinder, which may affect the engine performance. Knocking may even result in the rupture of the combustion chamber. So, how can we prevent knocking? As we spoke, knocking occurs because of the high temperature and pressure inside the engine cylinder. It can be prevented by reducing the engine intake pressure and temperature. Now, this can be done in multiple ways. You can reduce the peak cylinder pressure, decrease the intake manifold pressure, reduce the air intake temperature, and also reduce the compression ratio. In the 1920s, additives like tetraethyl lead were added to the fuel because of its anti-knocking property. But tetraethyl lead may clog up the catalytic converters and interrupt their working. On the other hand, it also resulted in severe health hazards. Because of this, they are not preferred today at all. In modern engines, knock detection sensors are used to minimize the chances of knocking. These sensors detect the vibrations caused due to the uneven combustion and retard the timing of ignition until the knocking stops. This is not the case when it comes to compression ignition engines. In CI engines, there may be a short time lag between the starting of fuel injection and ignition. When the period of injection is long, the fuel that is present already inside the engine gets ignited because of the highly compressed air, and this results in knocking. Modern diesel engines use electronic common rail injection systems, which inject fuel in a precise manner, and hence there will be fewer chances of knocking. There are certain properties of fuel like octane number, cetane number, etc. that can also determine the amount of knocking. So stay tuned. We will be discussing them in a separate video. So until we meet again, bye.